Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching I Know What You Did Last Summer. What do you know about this movie? This one, our slasher horror Patreon poll. So we would like to thank our patrons for voting for this to win our slasher horror Patreon poll. I don't know what this is about. Uh, my assumption is that it's like most slasher horror films where we're gonna have like a bunch of teenagers maybe throwing a party or going yeah. on a trip or camping or something like that. Right. Um, and then they're all gonna die. I haven't seen this movie. I might have a guess of what it's about. I know obviously it's about something you did last summer. Later on in the week, I believe we're gonna be watching Scary Movie, which is something that I've seen. And I know that that movie parodies or makes fun of this movie. So I think I'm remembering a scene that is kind of uh, the plot line of this movie, even though I haven't actually seen this movie. So we did really wanna watch Scary Movie. Um, so we're glad this one won the poll because this was, I think, important for that film. Yeah, kind of like a prerequisite. And even though I've seen Scary Movie, I'm sure it'll make it even funnier. And then once you see Scary Movie for the very first time, at least you will get all of the references, hopefully. Right, yeah, so I think this is a big one for Scary Movie, um, as well as Scream, which yeah. we've already watched. So um, I'm really excited to watch this, and I think it's gonna be jump scary. Yeah, we've had a couple of like more calm slash comedy horror movies with um, Tucker and Dale and the Burbs and stuff. We started Spooky Season pretty gory with Evil Dead, Rise, um, so now this feels like a little bit more traditional slasher movie. Yeah. So excited for the variety. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see a full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Okay, starting pretty uh, tropical, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Damn, there was a, um, we yeah. just watched Family Guy and there's a whole joke about the time of the movie was starting. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I thought the same thing. I was like, why are we in the jungle? Like, is this another title screen or is this the movie now? Oh, okay. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, wow, okay. Ryan Phillippe, isn't that the guy who's married to, uh, or was Reese Witherspoon? Freddie Prince Jr. I wonder if this was before or after Scooby Doo. Because Freddie Prince Jr. and Sarah Michelle Gellar are married. Yeah. No, this has to be way before Scooby Doo, right? Yeah. Oh damn! You didn't see him? No, that took so long. <laughs> Say love. How does it die? Or maybe it says live or die. How'd you even get here? Do you have a car or something? It's not a good place to be getting drunk. Is it 4th of July? Our six finals on state. Come on back out, girl. Cracker, queen, whatever. Did you say cracker? Yeah, is it cracker or cracker? Croker. <laughs> Croker? I had no idea her breasts were so bad. Well, you're gonna marry her one day. They're all so young. What will be your contribution to your community and the world at large? World peace. Now, this year's Croker Queen is... Croker Queen. Damn, everyone's super excited. This uh, festival's very popular. Yeah. Hey, you riding with me? Uh, no, tell Mama be- Oh. She's from Billy Madison. Julie, brought your shooter on the house. Oh, thanks, Max. Is this Big Bang? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many people in this movie. You can't just leave without a farewell, right? Right. A toast? Damn. Yo, chum big. Take a hike. Jeez, this guy sucks. I didn't realize Jennifer Love Hewitt and Freddie Prince were a couple also. Yeah. Oh god. Man, they're flying. No, he wasn't decapitated. He was gutted with a hook. 
a lot of different stories. <laughs> it's an urban legend. American folklore. What was that last smile? Yeah. <laughs> A starting quarterback for the Steelers. Cowboys. Whoever. Mm. Then. Some big dreams. Right? Pregnate me with the first of three children <laughs> before you head off to rehab. Rehab? For an injury or drugs? <laughs> I really hate this. You're going to go off and you're going to fall for some body piercing philosophy student. That sounds attractive. <laughs> Success rate of high school sweetheart relationships is higher than any other type of relationship. Is that true? Close your eyes. <laughs> Man, they're all doing it. There's no virgin that's going to live. They're breaking one of the main horror ru horror rules. <laughs> Come ride in the back with me. I'll let you do things to me. Nobody drives my car with me. You got that shit smeared out and clear. Sure, man. Can you say alcoholic? Is that what rehab's for? Oh, oh. Oh, he stayed in there? What was that? I don't know. Is everybody okay? Oh. What was that? Jesus Christ, my fucking car! That's a big ass dent. If it was a deer, then where is it? Maybe it ran off. Uh oh. It's not a deer. <laughs> oh. Oof. This was the uh, live or die guy from the cliff. Oh, was it? Yeah, he has the same outfit. Right? Overalls? We call the police and we're fucked. It was an accident. Look, let's think about this. I mean, aren't you all drunk? Think about what? He was crossing the road in the middle of the night. There's blood everywhere. We can clean it up. Come on. <laughs> we're going to trace it back to you. You're looking at a hit and run. Then we dump the body. Escalating quick. Yeah. The guy's already dead. If we go to the police, we're dead too. Oh, oh better make a decision quick. What do we do? Help. Maybe just put him back in the road and let another car hit him. Yeah, well, how are you gonna explain oh. this? They're right there. It's Barry's had way too much to drink and we're trying to keep the upchuck out of the new car. Well, it doesn't look so new anymore. Uh-oh. Daddy's gonna be mad. <laughs> Is he drunk? He was trying to take shots with her. You can wipe that my shit don't stink grin off your face. Damn, dude. Will do. Have a good night. You almost got that rich boy act down, right? But he's not rich. And he did say act. Yeah. That was suspicious. I thought they were gonna just dump him right there on the cliff. So did I. He'll be eating my crabs and small fish. Yeah, the water is very still. Should we check his wallet and see who he is? Why? This guy's already dead. Oh! He's got my crown! He was very much alive. shocked he was alive when you pushed him in he is alive under any circumstances known to god speak about this again is that clear why do they have the uh drunk alcoholic in charge right here now we take this to our grave we take this to our grave let me hear it let it go barry this guy's insane All right, so this is what they did last summer. Last summer. <laughs> it's not, he was very much still alive. And the alcoholic said nothing about that. Well, I mean, they all saw he was still alive when he grabbed the- Yeah, but he could have said, hey, by the way, he's still alive in the water. He literally opened his eyes. Oh, that's the, uh, whatever he was spinning. Yeah. You're going home for the summer and you're gonna get a tan on that pasty pale tail of yours. <laughs> She does look rough. Yeah, she looks real rough. Welcome home, dear. I missed you. Has she been like this all year, or is it just the stress from school? Or coming home. Right. 
Are you on drugs? <laughs> I assume dad's no longer around? Yeah. Mom, I know it looks bad, but the summer session went really well. According to the dean, you only have one more chance. Oh. What happened to my daughter? She's really struggling. Your father must be turning over in his grave. Oh. oh. What a comment. Uh-oh. Title of the movie. And the day that she's getting home. Right. I also didn't have a stamp on it, right? No, so someone must have just put it in her mailbox. Yeah. It's nice writing, too. Gotta be a woman. I wonder if she was the only one. That got a letter? My assumption would be that her and her boyfriend broke up. If she's yeah. like this. Yeah, true. If you need to speak with her, I suggest you go to Women's Fragrances. Ten feet to your left. Oh, she oh. never went. Damn, no one kept in touch. Somebody sent this to me. Oh my god. Somebody knows, Helen. Well, so she definitely didn't get a letter. What if somebody else was there that night? She wasn't there, right? She was... What are you two doing here? What a house. I know what you did last summer. Ooh, what a crock of shit. Um, <laughs> you did something last summer. We can't just ignore it. You did a lot of things last summer. Yeah, well, only one murder comes to mind. <laughs> are you still drunk? We didn't murder anyone. He was still alive when we dumped him in the water. His name was David Egan. What? How'd you find that out? It was in the paper. You can call it an accident all you want, but he died because of us, that's certain. Oh, so he's for sure dead then. Yeah. Okay, let's suppose somebody was there that night. Why send a letter one year later? It's because she came home first day back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that guy was super creepy. Ooh, it's almost festival time. What are you gonna do? I know what I'm doing. This guy's the worst leader. Yeah, do not trust him. Listen, can we talk a sec? In private? Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, jeez. You saw us that night. What the fuck are you on, huh? Dude. Uh-oh. I'll fucking kill your ass. I got no problem oh, with that. Oh, get the fuck off me. Get off of me. Understand? I'm oh. That was a terrible conversation. So, did he admit to the letter? It won't bother you anymore. I took care of it, okay? I screamed at him, cut him a little. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> so Ray grew up to be a fisherman, huh? It's been a year. Have a nice life, guys. I'm out of here. They didn't even keep in touch? Yeah, seriously, this night just destroyed every relationship. I gotta get back to work. I feel like killing someone together would make you be more bonded. <laughs> Or just remind you of it constantly. We, we need to talk. I mean, being alone hasn't really helped her. I know you hold me responsible for what happened. No, I'm responsible for my own actions and I don't blame you. But I don't want to know you either. Damn. I feel like Barry just created a monster. Although I'm not liking this setting. That's true. Oh. oh, someone took that hook, huh? Weren't they telling some uh, urban legend of the guy with a fish hook? Yeah. Why kill this guy, though? Start with him? Uh oh. Oh my god! Holy shit, that was so violent. That was hardcore. Okay, I don't think it was Max. <laughs> Damn, he got fucked up. That, to me, looked like a full-fledged adult. Adult fisherman. Yeah. Wow. You next? You're alone. Hello? I still can't believe that Max guy got fucking wrecked. Yeah. He had nothing to do with anything. Uh-oh. Hello? And you're naked. Oh. 
I know. Uh oh. Oh, damn, he went through your locker already? My fucking jacket. Who else is here? Anybody else working out? Just you and me, pal. Did he take your car? Ooh, it's flying. Max, you're fucking dead. It ain't Max. Max is dead, though. <laughs> you're gonna get run over, dude. Go to the side. Jump it. Oh. Damn. You are terrible at dodging cars. <laughs> it's the same boots. Help me! Right? Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Is that a collar? Oh, you're hooked. Please don't. Uh oh. We're not even gonna see it? He probably got wrecked. Oh wait, but they're at the hospital. If he wanted me dead, he could have done it. He's just fucking with us. Guy in a slicker. What? Well, narrows it down? Just being a quaint little fishing village and all. <laughs> Literally anyone. We all know you have a slicker. Yeah. I said we find the fuck who's doing this and have a little one-on-one. -on -one. Who's ever doing this isn't going to the police. We could find this guy. Talk to him. Talk, Talk to, to him? him. <laughs> he fucked up Max. Well, it's got to be a friend or a family member of the guy we hit. Yeah, I was going to say, what about, like, David Egan's son? He didn't look that old. No, he didn't. But I feel like the person they hit did look older. So yeah. it's like, I wonder if it's a fake out or something. Like, the person in the intro is not the same person. Susie Willis died of drowning. The driver, David Egan, was unharmed. Oh. Susie was engaged to David. They were going to be married. Oh. That's why he was all down on himself. Survived by his mother, Claire, and sister, Melissa Egan, of Marable County. Sister? So David Egan killed, accidentally, his fiance. Yeah. Right. Where? Back there. <laughs> like, what are you guys planning to do here? I don't know. Hey, we killed your son slash brother. What exactly is the plan? <laughs> Thought we'd scope it out, then play it by ear. Don't you think we should have some sort of a plan? Or like a gun? Yeah, because this isn't like an I accidentally stumbled upon your house. You know, Jody Foster tried this in a skin ripping serial killer answered the door. Silence? Yeah. I'm breaking and entering to our crime spree. Oh! Oh! Hi. Uh, our car stalled down the road, and we were just wondering if maybe we could use your phone. Okay, good lie so far. Phone's over there. Oh, thanks. Will you call AAA? You got it. So sketchy. Those aren't your names. <gasps> oh! <sighs> hey, that's uh, what do they call it? A slicker? Oh, is that what they were talking about? Yeah, like the outfit or whatever, mm -hmm. like a trench coat. Things just haven't been the same since he died. So David was younger than her. Yeah. So even though the body looked old, it was... Didn't he hang out with this guy? I mean, they were really close. God, what was his name? Um, I didn't know too many of David's friends. Just trying to fish for anything? Mm -hmm. Stopped by not too long after David's death, and, and he came to pay his respects. Really? There we go. He never really said it, but I think it hurt him to be around me. Do you remember his name? Billy. Billy. Blue, Billy Blue. Billy Blue. We should probably wait back in the car. Uh, stay. No, I, I don't I don't want to miss AAA. I have a feeling that was Freddie Prince Jr. Maybe feeling guilty. Oh, and he showed up? Yeah. That's a good guess. Billy Blue does sound like a fake name. Yeah. God, do you see what we've done? It was an accident. Yeah, but he was still alive. It was an accident until it wasn't. <laughs> You're giving us way too much credit. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! That got me so off guard. <laughs> I think I zoned out for half a second. I was like looking over here. <laughs> I'm just thinking it started right off. Funny how that happens. Funny how that happens, eh? Hmm. She's suspicious. Yeah. She, I mean, she's way too small, but I mean, she could know. I mean, the person who's killed someone hasn't done anything drastically physical yet. 
But you still see how big they look. That's true. My heart's still racing. I know, fuck. I feel like my heart's beating differently permanently now. <laughs> Maybe he blamed himself. Maybe he was sitting in the road waiting for us to hit him. He did look rough. We used to be best friends. We used to be a lot of things. I miss you. Cold. It's interesting because she says she doesn't blame like anybody else type of thing. But it feels kind of like she does. Yeah, she like hates everyone. Yeah. Pretty remarkable indeed as Neil steps back into the box. Hey, One to nothing here in the third. Damn, okay. <laughs> you don't even say hello? She's dead. And the dad is not going to get off his chair. It's interesting that this killer left uh, Barry or whatever still alive. Yeah. So I'm wondering, you think he's going to leave her alive? Maybe. Just like torture her a little. Oh, he's waiting for you upstairs. That was terrifying. Oh, and that's your room? It's gotta be behind the door, right? Oh. Oh, there's the little tiara. Is this a point of view? <gasps> oh, are they sisters? I, I, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that. The outgoing queen has to ride in the parade prior to the pageant. There's nothing I can do about it. Unless you're dead. You and your hair. Just so pathetic. Her hair. Oh, I feel like she's going to get like scalped or something. Oof. You're in trouble. And you made it all night? They stayed in the closet all night? She didn't fall asleep with that on, did she? Oh, definitely did not. Oh. What they do? Cut her hair off? Soon. <laughs> Jeez. That was a reaction. <laughs> oh my god. Did they cut her hair? Did they put like nair on her head or something? Yeah, it did seem like chunky how it was falling out. So the Barry guy, I feel like he had a cast on his arm, which he's a quarterback, supposedly. Yeah. Now, she's losing her hair. Maybe pay attention to the road, lady. How you got in this problem? <laughs> what is that noise? Is there someone in the trunk? Is it Ray? Oh shit, maybe Max? Was that his name? He's gotta be dead. No, but maybe he, like, fucking with her, put the dead body in her trunk or something. No, but it's making noise. Crabs, right? They said something about body getting eaten by crabs. Oh. Oh, and the body. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I got that one. I mean, sorry, Max. <laughs> I'm sure he was dead. Don't ask me that again. He was dead, okay? I saw him with these. Are we gone? Why is it quiet? This would be a lot to clean up that quickly. No way. Did the crabs carry him away? I, I swear to God. I believe you. He's obviously fucking with you all. What are you doing here? I've been looking everywhere for you guys. Yeah, where have you been, God. huh? Oh my God. He's lying! Leave him alone, Barry. Get a grip. No, wake up, Julie. Look, he's after me too. How do you know? I got a letter. Oh, you got a letter. I got run over. <laughs> Julie gets a body in a trunk and you get a letter? That's balanced. <laughs> yeah, this is suspicious. Look, we have to stick together, all right? We have to help each other. Why don't you actually stick together? Like, stop separating. We think his name is Billy Blue. How do you know that? Oh. Who probably went to school with David Egan. So according to Sis, that would make him class of 92. Are you Billy Blue, Ray? I mean, he could have easily lied to Missy. We did. Wait, we should bring the yearbook to Missy. Look, I'm not going anywhere. Suspicious. I'll go. You've got that parade today. She doesn't have hair. It's that moment where we have to make a decision. Let's make the right one this time. I want to do what's smart. Then let's get the hell out of here. I don't 
gotta feel really bad if it's not Ray, but I really feel like it's Ray. Oh, yeah. It's super suspicious. It's just sitting on the front of the float. Uh, she still has a lot of hair. Oh. Did you see someone? Yeah, the fisherman hat. There. Oh. Barry! Over there! Uh. No, you just left her. But also, I feel like maybe this is a random person. Oh, it's for sure a random person. There's literally fishermen everywhere. <laughs> Where the hell is he? I mean, that could still be him. <laughs> Did she come here alone? Yeah, because Ray wouldn't go. Because Ray's about to get pointed out in this yearbook. Hello? What happened to Missy? Yeah. Oh. A lot of dead things hanging up. Jeez. Missy, do you remember me from the other day? You know, the car trouble? Missy, why'd you come out so strong? <laughs> Uh oh. All right. Oh, uh, that one looks more accurate because they have that collar thing like all the way up to that top of their hat. I'm gonna say that one. Probably. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe you could look through the sheer book. That, what, what's this all about? It has to do with your brother and last July 4th. What about it? I killed him. He went up there to die that night. That's where Susie died. But how do you know it was a suicide? He left a note. Did he? He kept it hidden from the insurance company because they wouldn't, they wouldn't pay me the money, you know, if it was suicide. I mean, he might have gone up there and then changed his mind. He definitely changed his mind. Money's been spent. That's it. Oh, that writing. He doesn't have a tattoo on I his arm. I saw it on his right You didn't right say forearm. anything. Get out of here. Oh, man, the plot thickens. So someone was going to kill whatever the fuck his name is. What David was... Egan. Yeah. But. Oh, my God. No, those weren't the same people then. It wasn't your brother. Yeah. The one we saw up at the top in the beginning that's wasn't the same person they hit. Right. That's why they looked so different. Yeah. So David Egan's still alive. No, David Egan is dead, but they hit someone else. They didn't hit David Egan. Oh. I'll be up on the balcony. He had a hook, Barry. I saw it. It was a big, huge hook. So it could be the father of the fiance, David Egan's fiance, who he accidentally yeah. killed. Her dad left a note to try to kill David Egan, but David went and killed himself, and they accidentally hit. Why do you think it's her dad? Because it, it's got to be someone who wanted revenge against oh. David Egan, right? Yeah. Uh oh, is she gonna watch him die up there? What is this talent? Looks like she looks substantially older. <laughs> right? Uh oh. Girl, fix your face, you're on stage. Anything. Who? Who's killing who? Up in the balcony! All right, everybody, stay calm. There's definitely not going to be a body up there all no. of a sudden. There's nobody up here. <laughs> who was Fisherman, he? Fisherman, he killed Barry. Who are we talking about? There's nobody up here. Come on, let's go back downstairs. Why didn't you go to the actual spot where he was standing? Oh, I guess they did. Man, you're a blind fucking cop. <laughs> Man. I'm gonna take you home. The parents are really worried about you. Are they? The dad could not care less. Uh, excuse me. Uh, we'll be needing this. They don't get a new crown? They probably don't have that in the budget. Well, we're gonna have to take the alley. Because of a piece of wood? I feel like the cop's not in on it, but I feel like the cop's about to die. And then she's gonna get stuck in the back. Oh, gee. Uh-oh. Dude, you're dead. 
Of course you're locked in here. Nice. Good thing he's walking. <laughs> they always walk. Kill trapped in car driver unharmed survived by her father Benjamin. Father. Oh, her sister. God damn it, Elsa. Yeah, please, 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 please. Elsa. Could have the entrance is open. I'm being attacked. She said the other open other doors open? Yeah. What is going on? Just do what I say, god damn it! Elsa, you are so fucking slow. Yeah, the other door, right? Yeah. Someone already came in. Now they're locked in. Ooh. Bye, Elsa. That's what you get for being slow. <laughs> Did the police just not answer? There was probably only one cop in this whole town. He's dead. Jeez. Uh. Is she going to be one of these? No, I feel like he is. Get the fuck out of this store. She's locked in. Smash the glass. She got another cop car. Oh, that's definitely him. <laughs> Good thing he wrapped himself in plastic. How the fuck did he turn off the... Oh, there's your sister. Scream later! Run now! Ooh! Yeah, doesn't this just take you upstairs? Yeah, go back down! Yeah, I would've dropped it and gone down! Go, 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 go! Ooh, that was close! I mean, at least he should be locked in. She's gotta move quick. Where did you run into these like maze like fucking places? Run out into the open somewhere. I'm just waiting for it. No! Oh! Man, that close to help? Jeez, she put up a hell of a fight for, yeah. a, for a little. We're down to just her and Ray. You found David's body in the water. Yeah, I know, but I think Ben Willis killed David Egan. <laughs> He's like, what? You, you think this Willis guy killed David, then we killed him? Yeah, but what if he didn't die, Ray? What if he's still alive? He was. He was literally still alive when you guys pushed him in the water. Wait, he said he doesn't know who his father is. You think... This guy is his dad? Maybe. Billy Blue! Oh my god, it's you! What are you talking about? Billy Blue, you're the friend, you're, you're the fisherman. Oh, shit! How did she get locked in here? Where did you come from? Oh! On the boat, inside! Hurry! Well then, who the hell is this random guy? I think this is, this is him. The dad? The killer. You literally just ran into his home. Sorry, Ray. I don't think he was actually involved, but I think he was Billy Blue. He was definitely Billy Blue. Yeah, pictures of his daughter. And of them. Some of those pictures were literally from this morning. <laughs> You're in some kind of trouble, child? There it is. Kids like you should be out having fun, running people over, getting away with murder, things like that. He's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, where are you running? You're on my boat. Ah, uh, just jump overboard at this point. 
Ooh, flare gun? Oh! Really? I don't even know what your name is. Nice, Ray. I mean, Ray's for sure gonna get gutted, but... Nice, Ray. Fuck him up. Julie? Yeah. Oh, Ray, you should have just kept fighting. His hook's longer. <laughs> Damn it, Ray. Ooh. No, don't distract him. That was so dumb. Oh, good job, Ray, holding on. I thought he knocked him out. Where is she? I don't know. Maybe where they keep the fish when they catch him or something. So it's like a tank. Ray's back on at least. That's a lot of ice. She was burying herself? Oh, she's burying the door. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Who is that? Uh, her friend, the blonde girl, I think. Oh. Sorry, Cooper. Oh, there's Barry. Did he not notice Ray up there? No. Oh, good hit, Ray. Now literally kill him. Yeah, he's not dead. Turn, Turn your back around. to him. What are you doing? Yeah, no shit. Make sure he's really dead. <laughs> nice. Oh. Uh. Oh, damn it. He's a thousand percent still alive. <laughs> Is there a sequel to this movie? I don't know. <laughs> They finally went to the cops. We never killed anyone. This whole year was spent. I know. Yeah, they didn't need to feel bad at all. <laughs> Tried to. Do <laughs> you have any idea why this man would want you dead? Oh. No. None. <laughs> well, don't worry. The body will turn up. No, it won't. You already got hit by a car. And left for dead in the water. I think you can handle this. Thank you very much. Oh, her grades are up. I love you. <laughs> no, of course I love you more. I don't like this. Oh, I'm really, really late. Hey, Julie, you got uh -oh. the mail. Mail? Another note. Julie, same handwriting. What hand did he? So I guess he's left handed? <laughs> Can that lady that just dropped that off identify? Who handed it to her? <laughs> oh. No, there's way too much smoke. Or steam. How hot are you fucking shower are you taking? Uh-oh. Oh. Still no. He was obviously just here. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry, Sorry Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you good boy, you making sure we're okay. All right, that was I Know What You Did Last Summer. What'd you think? That was great. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> there was a good amount of twists and turns, thinking Ray's like way more involved in this. Obviously Max didn't last very long, but he seemed a little suspicious as well. Right. Um, just with a lot of the, I guess, high school rivalries that the guys had. So that was great. I mean, there was a ton of jump scares as well. Not a ton, but there was a couple. They were very well-placed jump scares. Well, and you knew they were coming, which I always say, like, if you know that a jump scare is coming, it scares you so much worse. Yeah. Like, uh, when he's wrapped in plastic. Yeah. Like, you could literally see his outline, and you're just looking at him, and then he moves, and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah, because you're just waiting. It's like the anticipation makes it so much worse. Uh, the ending there, obviously, <laughs> got you real good. I know, my throat hurts. <laughs> uh, the one that got me was when Missy, I think? Yeah. 
when she like knocked on the door, that one got me bad. That was not really, that was just a scare. Like there wasn't any anticipation, I don't feel that like. One that one came out of nowhere, yeah. but some of the other ones like you you know it's about to happen, it yeah. still gets you. So it, it did have really good jump scares. The cast was incredible. I mean, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Sarah Michelle Gellar, uh, Freddie Prince Jr., Ryan Philippi. Phil like, Felipe? I think Phil it's Philippi. Philippi. All of those people are very well known. Yeah. Uh, this is way earlier on probably in their career because they all look like babies here. Yeah. Uh, but it was, it was a great small group. I feel like four people really isn't that many to kind of burn through in terms of yeah. getting killed. So I also really like the aspect that half the movie, I guess, was about like kind of fucking with them and torturing them. Yeah. And then killing them. So it kind of yeah. extended things. Yes. Yeah. And it made it worse because they knew like what was going on and with the torture kind of aspect of it. Right. Psychologically and physically for yeah. some of them. But damn, these deaths too were brutal with that hook. Yeah, the hook sucked. Like that had to be a shitty way to die. Yeah, I mean, you're, first of all, you're just seeing this giant ass hook coming. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, the way he was carrying Elsa, like through the store. Yeah. Um, and he could really, I mean, I think honestly, Max may have gotten the worst of it. I think so too, which like, <laughs> what the hell did Max do? <laughs> like, he just got fucked. I guess Max drove by up there, but I don't know what, I don't know why he would have gotten killed. I mean, this guy, definitely spiraled after losing his daughter. Yeah. Because it wasn't just about getting revenge at that point. Yeah. Like he, I assume, got revenge on whatever, I keep forgetting his name, Brian or- David da Egan. David <laughs> I don't think though that he killed David. David might've just taken himself out. Yeah, I think that he threatened him because if David wrote a note, I think that he, oh wait, he didn't write a note though. No. He didn't write it. No. Oh yeah. Okay, then he probably did kill David. So I'm assuming he did kill David. David was probably just like up there yeah, sulking. Yeah, it was because in the beginning you did hear like rustling. Oh really? When he was up on the cliff. Oh shit! I totally didn't catch that. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, our main killer, whatever the the dad, Benjamin. Well, Benjamin, I guess, Will's yeah. fisherman. So uh, Benjamin obviously got his revenge for his daughter. Yeah. At least what he felt was like revenge. Yeah. And then he got hit. So like you would think if he still wants revenge, he would go after those four. But he started his killing spree with Max. He killed a cop. He killed Elsa. Yeah. I mean, like, he just went on a killing spree. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was surrounding these four. Right. But I mean... You didn't need to kill that cop. You could have got Helen at a different time. Yeah, he was already in her room like all night long and cut her hair in her sleep. Yeah, and then same with like killing her sister. Yeah, so he went a little too far. <laughs> but I really enjoyed that mystery and how it unfolded because you are suspicious of Ray. Uh, I, you are suspic suspicious of Max before that. Yeah. Maybe there's someone else who was there that is unaware, but that's relatively elaborate to be like, no, it actually was the father of someone and it was an accident again, yeah. like not intentional, another car accident type of situation and how that carried down to them accidentally hitting this dude when he was probably just fresh off of murdering someone else. Yeah. So it, it wasn't such like a straightforward slasher, that complexity to it of trying to figure out who it actually was, was really entertaining. It was very entertaining. I liked, like you said, that it wasn't straightforward. There was a lot of, and they threw in so many things that just made, I mean, making Ray seem so suspicious. And yeah. as much as like Barry was the worst, when he started even pointing at Ray, I was like, damn, am I siding with Barry right now? Yeah, I mean, Barry was fucking unhinged <laughs> from day one. But yeah, even like the whole um, Blue Billy or Billy Blue yeah. aspect, like they really, put it on hard for it to be Ray. And then even there for a moment, the whole like, oh, I don't know anything about my dad situation. Yeah, yeah, I brought that up. And honestly, like a lot of it, I was thinking about Scream, which it, yeah. if you haven't seen Scream. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. The boyfriends like kind of torturing the girlfriends, like right. that aspect of it. So I wasn't ever suspicious of Barry because he was just incompetent. I didn't really think <laughs> yeah. he could do that, but Ray, I was. Yeah, yeah, it, you really do get that feeling like it could be Ray. And even like to the point where when 
you start kind of putting in some pieces. I was even for a moment being like, was he brothers with this guy? Maybe like he didn't know who his dad was because his dad like had a second family. Yes. And then he yeah. learned out that uh, David was like his actual brother or something right. like that. So it's like that only lasted for a, a few minutes or maybe even less before he got knocked out by the actual killer. Yeah. Well, I guess not David being his brother, but that girl being his sister. Oh, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just meant like the same dad, but different family. Right, right. The story was complex that it kept you engaged and questioning and on edge. Uh, the jump scares were there. <laughs> the gore, it wasn't really as violent. I, like, like you said, Max might have gotten it the worst. The rest of it wasn't too brutal in we terms of like... Gore. Yeah, and we didn't see like a ton. Like at Max, we saw, but everyone else, it was like you know you would see their facial expression to getting killed. Yeah, I guess you really didn't see Barry get killed very graphically. You didn't even see Helen get killed like at all. Yeah, Helen put up a great fight too. Helen she was did. so close. Yeah, that was another thing too. Like this movie had a lot of just like, are you fucking kidding me? Type <laughs> of moments too. Where it was just like when Helen's trying to get inside a store and her sister like could not move any slower. Yeah. How often they just separate from each other and they're just like, okay, bye. Like why the fuck was Barry alone up in the attic or, or a balcony or whatever? Uh, the part that I thought was the dumbest was when Ray is fighting our main fisherman bad guy. And Julie is just like, Ray! And he <laughs> just stops mid fight. To look away and it's like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> yeah no there were i mean i feel like that's like the the horror tropes yeah exactly moments. exactly but yeah i mean we started off the movie speaking of horror tropes we start off the movie with teens having sex bad idea teens yeah and that's just a recipe for death yeah and but i mean ray and and julie survived well maybe julie didn't survive now well yeah no julie's fucked <laughs> I totally would think that he would be thought to be dead. Like when they first hit him, I thought, okay, maybe the initial time that he woke up or something. I thought like, cause uh, I think Barry started to hit him. I think I thought they would like kill him or think that they actually kill him and then push him in. Mm. But that is so ridiculous that he was very much alive. And then they pushed him into the water, still alive. And then Barry went in to get the uh, tiara or whatever. And he was still very much, and like, didn't say a word about it. They just carried on like, this guy is five feet away from you in the water and he, you know he's alive. Like, that was a little ridiculous too, to be like, why are you just walking away thinking this guy is dead? And you're like, we're never gonna talk about this again. Like, probably right off camera, you would see him like walking out of the water. And it's just like, He's not, uh, he's not dead. Kill him. Well, maybe they thought they knocked him out and then he would drown in the water. And then Barry was so hammered. That's true. Barry, that, yeah. Yeah. He's, I mean, he was panicking when he swam away with the tiara. Right. But I don't know. And it's also, it's like the end here too. It's like when he gets his hand severed and he just falls in the water and he's like, oh, I'm sure the body will wash up soon. It's like, no, it's not. Like, he's very much alive. He's a fisherman. <laughs> I am curious if there's a sequel to this. Yeah, there's got to be a sequel. Yeah. But I say that all in like a fun way. Like I yeah. was having an extreme amount of fun yeah. with the movie, how ridiculous it was, how scary it was at times. It's very easy to see why this is such a classic. Yeah, absolutely. I had a ton of fun with this. This this is like what spooky season yeah. is about. Yeah, because you get your heart rate going. Yeah. You feel like your heart might permanently be damaged a little bit. And then at the end of the movie, you're like, that was a fun time. And I kind of got scared. Yeah. So. And I like movies that don't like permanently screw me up for life. And this is not one of them because I at no point fear a man with a fisherman hook coming to kill me. That That's a good uh, differentiation between certain movies yeah. like if we watch like the exorcist i'm permanently scarred for the rest of my life whereas we watch this i'm still scared while i'm watching it but the second the movie's over i'm not gonna like go take a shower yeah. and be like holy shit there's a fisherman <laughs> in the shower with me also we have seen the exorcist right and it has permanently scarred yeah. me so yeah this was a great combination of fun and scares and gore and I had uh, an awesome time. Yeah, no, this was a ton of fun. So I'm 
even more pumped now for Scary Movie. Also, I, thank you for bringing that up. Like I said, I have seen Scary Movie without seeing this and watching this, I'm like, holy shit, there is a lot of references. Oh, okay, that you just didn't understand. Yeah, I didn't understand. Yeah. So now it's like there's certain things that I still found funny in Scary Movie, but now I'm like, man, they really did a good job ripping off. Because it's not just this movie, obviously Scary Movie covers a lot of movies, but it's definitely a different experience to watch the spoof and then watch what it was spoofing after. Yeah, so now you know. So, so now, yeah. once we watch it, uh, I'm sure you'll be catching a lot more a second time around. Exactly, and I'm really excited to see your reaction to it for the very first time. Yeah. So this was great. Yeah, I'm excited. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.